I'm going to start with some uh, micro poems. When will the spin stop and the revolution begin? Brevity forever. <laughs> Fragm. <laughs> Disarmageddon. Drugged individualism. A soul? A soul. It was human wrongs that led to human rights. I'm practicing obstinance. Resistance is fertile. The most dangerous people are the obedient. Every herd has its cliff. What doesn't kill me just delays the inevitable. Wickedness loves stupidity. Oh, Canada, our stolen native land. Right there. Wow. This is the church, and this is the steeple. Open up the doors, and there's all the corporations. <laughs> the process of deliberately making a populace poor is called puration. When you do this by cutting to the core, it's called corporation. Bank robs man. In my country, we don't have free speech, but the speech we do have is really, really cheap. Look big and carry a little taser. Would you like a little assault with that pepper spray? Does a fool answer rhetorical questions? <laughs> Homophobia is a choice. <laughs> Whitewash comes in many colors. Save somebody or get off the cross. I can see into the present. I believe in life before death. I'm so far out, I have to pull the envelope. Maybe you should start listening to your inner child. Oh, I blew it. Maybe you should start listening to your outer child. There we go. People begin as dreams and end as memories. Every other day, God and the devil switch jobs. <laughs> Backwards Christian soldiers. It is the curse of the capable not to be called upon. It is easier to crush hope than to have it. Evil could do nothing without the good. I'm not sure if I want certainty or not. <laughs> the elephant in the room is the monkey on my back. I don't need anyone to help me celebrate Interdependence Day. In my father's house are many mansons. <laughs> Everything before the written word was pretext. If DNA had spell check, there'd be no evolution. The bomb that only destroys poetry is called poetry. <laughs> I like it. Okay. The only true poetry is in the longing for poetry. I choose free will. Turn the other cheek, 
or I'll turn it for you. Please do not stare at the observers. Some call it reincarnation, some call it recidivism. It is better to have loved and loved and loved and loved. I like the ask you in masculine. But I like the in, 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 feminine. In. <laughs> I said ask you first. It's not, you know, anyway. Uh, our secret power is our compassion. Empathy equals. It is all one vast serendipity. The reason space time is curved is because it's made of smiles. The reason love gets deeper and deeper is so that we can keep falling in it. The sky is a search engine with only one name in it, the beloved. Don't blame the mirror for your face. I couldn't live in Calgary, and uh, just not because I'm a left winger or anything like that, just because what headaches, what headaches I get here. So I just want to honor that with a, a poem about headaches, headache diary. The slow, stunning, cotton batten one stuffing the veins crammed behind the eyes. The occipital black bruise clotted into ribbons at the base of the skull, nailed through the nose. The grape in a vice bulb against nerve one zigzagging the vision, cracking the orb. Blood bag ballooning in the brain stem, puking visionary light streaked headache that tastes of intestine, that tastes of the grave, cold cadaver headache that three Advil won't stop, slow creeping three day smog spot widening in the gray stuff like a wet wing of blood shattering skull and skin alike, jigsaw face headache in puking pieces down on your knees to the god in the bottom of the bowl, headache like a broken bell in full toll, headache like a broken bell in full toll. Um, as I, um, you know, being a poet, like most of you, I'm very interested in, in words and language and origins of words, and I particularly love the way words change their sounds over time, and one word slowly over eons becomes another word. I just drank your water. Um, Um, well, not someone else's. Oh, my God. Okay, so um, in this one, I, I'd actually, if, if, if you could, I would love it if you could join me in the transitions of a famous uh, movement of a word. This is deity to theory. So I'm going to say the first part, and if, if you would, I would love it if you could repeat after me. So we'll start with deity, deity, deity. Deity, deity, deity. Deity, deity, deity. deity. D a d d a d d a d d a d d a d d a d t a d t a d t a d t a d t a d t a d t a d t a d t a d Thea, 
C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R E C R D C R D C R D C R T C R T C R T C R T C R T C R T C R T C R T C R T C R T C R T C R T C R T C R T C R T C Okay, I gotta try this. I swear, there there are little. Um, <clears throat> I, I have this took this acting class, and I'm supposed to learn to make um, sort of scared faces as though I don't remember things. So I'm gonna be trying that a little bit out in this poem that I've memorized. It's called "What Is the Word for Word?" In the middle of the word, I find you all alarmed with word in your eyes, and you see the word in mine, and instantly we want a word. We want a word till our lips are sore. We want to rub one word against another till the friction almost hurts. But there's a thrill moment so twinned in the two of us it can't at first escape. It just vibrates in the web, a radar, a tremble with word, word, word. The two of us, a wedge of words tipped into the nick of night, opening up the first edge of a word like dawn, moving the word, soothing the word, grinding the word slowly, mortar and pestle, till our words briefly are not separate. All previous words just prep for this wanton, rude word we uncover sacredly in the bare glare of tungsten, irradiated, a brainless, seamless word between us like a mutual body part we both feel. The word has never been this contained, this stretched with itself, you say, with awe. We want to scream the word out, lingering on its longest syllable, giving my word into yours as you give yours into mine, words that enter as they open, words that receive as they are received. You are the word that waited a lifetime, stuffing itself with wrong words, linking up with the worst in language, waiting for what I bring in my mouth. You thought you had meaning before. You thought you made sense, but you were just half a sentence. I was but a dot dropped off a question mark till you join me up with the well word, the water world, that fills itself with itself and drinks itself drain dry and fills itself and drinks itself again and again. Who knew we could fit in each other's lives like this word inside word inside word, this word that always thought it was exile. This word that always thought it was the shutout, the stranger in the longhouse. This word that is only infinite so we can word from alternating endless angles till we pop the clocks and the sun drops down exhausted on the limited night. We, uh, we had the police go crazy on us in Toronto, and they were marching around and stomping on people's rights, but they were doing it kind of silently. So I thought they should have some words to march by, and these are the words that I came up with. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, rights, left, rights, left. We still got some rights left, right, left, right, left. Uh, I was inquiring about the rights left, rights left! Yes, you know, the uh, rights left to us by our ancestors, the rights left to our children and their children. I mean, we still have rights left to gain, not rights left to lose. We must increase the number of rights left. We have rights left to fight for. What if we left right at the moment someone was trying to reduce the number of rights left pretty soon there'd be no rights left right left right left right left right left right halt
sincerely. One day I predict, one day I predict we'll be amazed at our strength. We'll look at one another astonished and say, we didn't think we could do this. One day the path will be so clear, we will all say it's obvious and we will hardly believe we couldn't see the way before. One day I predict we'll have this great true story to tell, a kind of anti-Iliad for the coming age involving all of us who think we are not warriors and all of us who fear we are not brave. I am a priest. Um, I've been doing these things called meme splices, which are corollaries of gene splices. Um, so basically, I'm just taking words and blowing out certain letters and uh, blowing in new letters and then putting them back into the idioms that they are usually found in and seeing what the sort of mutated new version is. So in this, in this case, I am taking the word money, blowing out the N and the E and blowing in two M's so that money becomes mummy. Just give me mummy. I work hard for my mummy. <laughs> you need mummy to get by in this world. You have to save your mummy. Let your mummy grow. But don't let mummy take over your life. <laughs> don't get too attached to mummy. Mummy can weigh you down. Use your mummy wisely. Keep your mummy in a safe place. <laughs> mummy is just a tool. Mummy is a symbolic system. We are in a mummy-obsessed culture. Mummy hounds, slaves to mummy. We spend our whole lives scrabbling for mummy, 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 filthy mummy, bloody mummy, hypnotized by the power of big mummy. <laughs> what is this insane lust for mummy? Mummy is being driven down, devalued. Mummy destroys human relationships. Just throw mummy at it. <laughs> mummy changes everything. I have no mummy sense. I'm bad with mummy. <laughs> mummy burns a hole in my pocket. I have to go begging for mummy in the streets. I hate mummy. I reject mummy. Mummy is the root of all evil. But it's so hard to live without mummy. I, I'm trying to hold on to my mummy, but everybody wants my mummy. What happened to our mummy? We took huge risks with our mummy, and we lost. We're completely broke. We totally wasted our mummy. Uh, two more. This, um, so, um, just to cleanse the palate of the distasteful parts of that last one. This is a poem I wrote long ago, but it's um, the origin of the word woman. It's like this. Not woe to man, as I once thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> or even womb man, as the man fastened think, but womb man as in Tehran or African, or Canadian, or Calgarian, e.g. a native of the womb, a woman, meaning all people, even men, are women first. I know, I'm pandering, but that is actually, um, that is actually biologically true. When the uh, blastophist, blastocyst gets first fertilized, they are all female. And then just some rogue chemical comes on, twing, you get guys, and um, that's just the way it is. Um, I have been working on the origin of the word man as well to accompany it, and this is what I've got so far. It's a uh, man. <laughs> now, all these poems I've been reciting so far are available in my books, which uh, Will would love it if you uh, lightened my load by letting me go home with money and not books. Uh, there are, and this one particularly, um, it, Rosa Rose, is a mere ten dollars, and um, it's my my latest book, and it's the one that's the praise poems for people who've inspired me, and one of those people is uh, Mohammed. Yeah, so um, Ali, the great boxer. Um, so this is the poem for Ali. 
Ali was the champ. Bam, bam, bam. The best boxer ever, and man, could he dance. Plus, he was a joker, and he spouted poetry. He was born Cassius Clay, but he became Ali, Muhammad Ali. He danced and he twirled. He was the bam, 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 heavyweight champion of the world. Now, in those days, blam, blam, blam. There was a war in Vietnam. Blam, blam, blam. It was a terrible war, a wicked war in Vietnam. And when they asked Ali to go, he refused. He just said, no, I think I'll stay here where I am. I've got no quarrel with Vietnam. Why would I kill my fellow man? If you won't fight, blam, 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 you'll go to jail, wham, wham, wham. If you won't fight for Uncle Sam, we'll lock you up in the slam, slam, slam. But he wouldn't fight, blam, blam, blam. He just said no to Uncle Sam. I think I'll stay here where I am. I've got no quarrel with Vietnam. I'm a recent convert to Islam. Why would I kill my fellow man? Ali was charged, but he wouldn't budge. He's put on trial before a judge. The gavel came down. Wham, wham, wham. Ali was free. An innocent man, he didn't have to fight in Vietnam. He didn't have to fight for Uncle Sam. But he still couldn't box, bam, bam, bam. They wouldn't let him box, and they picked a new champ. And still there was a war, blam, 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 and many people died in Vietnam. Ali had to wait, this champ of the world. Down by his sides, those big fists curled. Not till the war came at last to an end would they let him fight for the prize again. Back in the ring, how good Ali felt when he fought George Foreman and took back his belt. He darted and danced, spoke poetry and twirled. He was the king of not fighting and the heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah, he was champ in the ring and champ times too, because Ali was the king of not fighting too. Thank you very much.